Harding? Where are you, girl? Three meetings face to face under the sky. Three meetings? Oh, wow. Whoa. As we traveled here to the hub via the Alluvian, we're not trapped to Deventer. Rook, you're awake. And we're... In the Fade. This is where people come when they dream, but... Dwarves don't dream. And somehow, I'm here. Yeah, it's... unreal. Nev thought we should talk about what to do next. We should. But maybe look around a little? We might be here a while. Wow. We're still in the Fade right now. The events of everything that happened put us in the Fade and we're still... stuck here? Skills. We're nearly level 3, we got 3 points available. Let's see, we have 3 specializations as we saw earlier. Duelist. And even Crow Duelist specializes in dancing between blades and punishing enemies with devastating melee blows. Saboteur. A true swashbuckler, the Lords of Fortune Saboteur specializes in using explosives and other contraptions to weaken enemies, control the battlefield, and handle even the most dangerous situations. Wait, so... Are these locked to certain factions? Veil Ranger sounds like a Veil Jumper thing. Using tactics learned in Arlathon, the Veil Ranger specializes in bringing down targets with charged long range shots and pinpoint accuracy. Eventually, we're getting there, right? But for now. Oh, okay, that's like the. Oh, wow, all these are different points. I see, I see. Core stuff Rogues are cunning and adaptive. They fight with two swords and a bow while exploding any weakness in their enemies. We already have that. Static strikes, we have that. We can have exploding arrow. Repost. Ooh, there's combinations of keys that we gotta um, do well. Okay. After a successful defend, you can now launch a powerful counterattack. Could be interesting. We got three points. Evasive maneuvers. Space, space, click. Okay, I'll try this one. Dodging. Exploding arrow. Light and range arrow attack creates a sticky arrow. Oh, lots of different skills here. Passive. Lose 35% less momentum when you take damage. Jump attacks guarantee critical hits if the target is knocked down. I'll go conservative for now. Okay. Should we just look around a little bit? Content marked with a timer will eventually expire as you progress. What? Don't be like that. Talking to Nev? And Harding. Okay, well, let's go then. I hope you don't mean like in five minutes or so, but like dependent on progress in the main quest or something like that. I guess I'm thankful you're telling me about it, but... The timer makes me nervous. Ooh. Capstan arms rotate the statue. Mysterious note. To enter the library passage, three pairings must meet face to face. So there's another one there, and then there's one here. Uh, doesn't look like there's another one on this end, so we probably want this one to face the other side. Nev is all the way up there. Three pairings? We're just all willy-nilly in the fade now. Do we... We're staying here for a while. Can we even get out if we wanted to? Via the Alluvian, I guess. Wisps. Figures are in the fade, but I swear they're following me. You were right? Strange place you've fallen into. But I'll work with it. You know me. Do I? 
I don't know you. I know Varric wanted you for the job. You know the same about me. I made a call that got you injured right after we met. I'll be fine. You trusted me for the job, and I delivered. That's what counts. If we're stuck in this, let's hope you can trust me again. We did fine. Th oh. This early? <laughs> All right. But I still wish we had a smoother start. So much for first impressions. Here's hoping I'm better on the second. Well, you're not bad so far. You know how this goes. You take a lot of notes. What about? Lately, what we know, or knew, before Solus changed the game. And it's... Not much. I'm sure Lace would hate to hear that, but one step at a time. <sighs> we'll figure this out. I'm sure of it. Really? Do you know something I don't? No, Optimism. We just... Well, we have to, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the job. Because if we don't, we're screwed. I thought I was a little bit lower on the ranking, maybe because I'm not familiar with me. I feel like I'm a newbie, but judging by the sounds of it, Varric trusted me and all that, so I'm not that low on the ranking. It was nice to speak with you, Nev. Potential romanceable companion Nev. <laughs> We have Harding on the other side. What about here? Well, you're not going to disappear, right? Not that quickly. Just have a quick look. The statue moving. Oh, there's some stuff down there. Can we... Are we allowed to... Yup. Ooh. Blacksmith's tools. On divine imperatives. The helm of the solar is destroyed. Elgernon's favorite torture is over. Too many agents have been rescued with their minds burnt out by that memory of an enraged sun. I feel a lesson here. The helm was not created to torment, but the Evanuris are not as we are. A god's ruminations carry their own will and imperatives. Memory bleeds into their icons and transmutes them as fire begets fire. For our wolf lord, who puts so much of himself into his creations, what imperatives do they carry? The heart of a rebellion must remain hidden, yet the light of divinity is uncontainable. We must be swift. A thought lingers. Even as he saves us, what does he impart upon us? Reflections by Shiron, one who renounced Darenthal. This is like Solus's headquarters. Okay, we, we, want, the, we want them to be facing. There must be two more. Thank you for letting me know I was doing something right. What happens if I fall down? <laughs> Maybe let's not randomly try it out. Is this the library you mentioned? No, this is the dining hall. Okay, oh. No. Pretty crazy here. Dining hall. Notes on the caretaker. This note has a smear of paint on one corner. Have they always been here? There are beings in the crossroads unknown even to the wise, though the most ancient ones make any domain their own. Certainly, this caretaker belongs here now. I wonder what we look like to them. Need is a scaffold, and the needs of the living ever rise and fall upon it. Hunger, thirst, sleep. Imagine the constant cacophony to one sensitive to such things. Or am I too simple? Wants are fleeting, needs have deeper roots. Perhaps that's why I find this particular spirit's presence both comforting and disconcerting. The prospect that our heart's desire and our truest need could differ, or are even at odds, is hard to contemplate. How long... Like, this isn't the fate, so we don't even know when these notes were written. It could be from a million years ago. Very nice little balcony. Painted pot. Well, currency is not going to do us much good if we don't get out of here and save the world. Oh, is that a door? 
No, it's like a fireplace. Pantry. Imperial weave. Materials. Well, how nice of them. It's like a... It's like an Inquisition headquarters waiting to be decorated. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> well, we'll do good on it. Just let me have a look around. We have another one of these. The pairing... Who do you want to be paired with? Because I don't see another one over there. And I don't see one there. Who do you want to be paired with? Over here, maybe? I actually can't see one right now. Just move you like this right now. Yeah, I don't see- Oh! Oh! Be careful! No, that's a- that's a railing. That ain't a statue. Well, let's talk to Harding first. Very nice to see Harding back. Once again. Wait. Okay, I thought she disappeared already. Scared me. Conservatory. It wasn't supposed to go this way. What do we do now? What do we do? Harding? Oh, hey, Rook. Uh, how's it going? Did you ever find places like this chasing Solus with Varric? Not exactly. But with Solus, it was always about the Fade, or the Veil, or some other in-between place. Varric always hated it, though. At least this place feels different. Maybe... safer? A lighthouse is usually intended to be a guiding star, no matter how dangerous it is outside, so let's hope so. But it must be pretty scary for a dwarf. The Fade. Harding, are you doing all right? I don't know. Are you? Is anyone? Anyway, it doesn't matter how I'm doing. What are we going to do about this mess? We were going to go back through the Alluvian, right? Let's start with that. As soon as we can. You know you can take some time to just... Now you sound like Varric. Varric and I started this. And I can't stop. Not now. Don't ask me to. So, come get me when you're ready to go. Alright? I do feel like we should leave as soon as possible, too. If we already unleashed two elven gods back in the real world. Didn't get to ask you about your plants. These are plants? Harding was romanceable by the Inquisitor, right? So she might not be romanceable here. Unless if they're gonna force a breakup for people who did that. <laughs> that would be kind of... Was she fully romanceable or maybe it was just a few flirty lines? Because I definitely remember flirting with her. As I do literally every single person in the entire Dragon Age universe. <laughs> so I'm not sure where the pairing for that statue comes from. We can have a look around. But we shouldn't stay for too long. Oh, it is this side. Okay, so you just go over here. That's the second. One more to go. Pure ore. Okay, here we go. Very simple. Face each other. And now kiss. Okay, that did something. Something with a capital S. Library is open. Oh. Faded note. Look at this place. We planned a rebellion here once. Said we changed the future of the elves, throw off tyrants, and we did. Now the path outside is fractured. It'd be hard rekindling all the Alluvians. Solus, if you see this, I'll be looking for you. Out in this world and in the mortal one. Don't cause too much trouble before I get there. His elven allies. 
writing all this. Did we? No, that's it. Whatever happened, was it inside here? The library? Quests. Shad, okay, signs and portents. For months, Very Tetheris had searched for Solas, a mage revealed to be the elven god of lies and trickery, known as the Dreadwolf. Solas planned to tear down the veil so that raw magic could flood back into the mortal world, restoring it to its natural state, which would also unleash a tide of demons and kill thousands of people. When Elite finally came, Very gathered a team in Merathus, including me, hoping to stop his former friend before it was too late. And the team succeeded, but at a price. Trapped in the Fade after they sabotaged his ritual, Solas delivered a dire warning from the Dream World. The ancient elven gods Elgernon and Gilanane had escaped the prison where he had held them. Although nothing the Dread Wolf said could be trusted, the team had no choice but to investigate. The two shadows that we saw at the ritual site, their silhouettes didn't even seem quite human. Shadows of ancient Arlathon. After stopping Solus's ritual, we have to investigate his claim that ancient blighted gods have been released to the world. Blighted! That's not good. Solus himself is stuck, so he can't do anything. We have to do everything around here. Typical. Um... Hold on, hold on. I thought I saw at the very end here just now. No, I thought there was a marking on Varric. Guess that's it for now. These openable? So... We stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey, Varric made his choice to go talk with Solas. He knew the risks we all did. And now Solas is gone. And we're here, wherever here is, besides in the Fade. Solas called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? In my dreams. While I was out cold, he showed up in my dream, and uh, he's really mad that we stopped his ritual. Good. He's also trapped in some kind of prison in the Fade. Not happy about that either. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams, even kill them. Mm. I'm safe on that front. I bled a little when I got knocked out. Enough that he can gripe at me, but not enough that he can make my head explode. So Solus is using blood magic, like any normal mage would to play with your mind. But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. She's not a believer, but I think we know better. I worked with the Veil Jumpers. We study ancient elven artifacts, and we've learned a lot of the history. The ancient elves were so powerful that their artifacts are still dangerous thousands of years later. And their gods? They might not literally be gods, but I can only imagine how powerful they are. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual, and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solas can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything. But we're not out of danger. What do you mean? Solas had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild? Those are... Elganan and Gilanane. Two of the ancient elven gods that Solas rebelled against. Solus warned me about them being evil, which is pretty rich coming from the guy who just tried to tear down the veil. You don't believe him? No, that's the problem. Yes. I do believe him. Yeah. He said they were horrific tyrants. Tyrants so powerful, elven history remembers them as gods. Solus says Elganan and Gilanane drew on the blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one... God running around, we have two, and they're not just powerful, they're blighted. We need to get out there and stop them. Just like that. We're down a man without Varric. We can't just rush in. I know you're hurt, Nev, but the rest of us need to do something. 
I'll be ready to fight when it's time, but we need to investigate and figure out what we're dealing with. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time investigating? Here we go. Yeah, I thought this might be right, but if we if we dive in head first, it'll be a problem. <sighs> we can do both though. Cause we have more than four people. Hopefully we have more than four people looking for Solas. People back in the real world. <sighs> I do think investigating will help, but we're we're very limited on time. Very limited. If Elganon and Gilinain are worse than Solas, we can't go in blind. We need to know what they can do and what they want. But we only have Solus's word about all of this. Then let's go investigate for ourselves. We find out what we're dealing with, and then we take our shot. Fine. The Alluvian led us here instead of back to Minrathis. Let's hope it goes back to the ritual site. Maybe we can find some clues at the scene of the crime. Nev, are you okay to go? It's a headache. I've worked with worse. All right then, let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. If Varric didn't try to talk to Solas, would he not have been hurt? Kind of sounds like it. Oh, music room. Oh, this is what we opened with the statues. Memories of a duet. The sheet music left by this instrument appears to be for a duet. It has been annotated by an expert hand. The annotations are accompanied by clear emotional impressions, diligent practice with a ruthless eye to mistakes, the relief of private achievement away from well-meant misunderstanding and mindless worship, an unspoken joy in the center of rising, perfect echoes. Finally, a beloved memory surfaces, a smiling glance, meeting at a crescendo, a shared moment of understanding, seeing completely, and being wholly seen. The impressions fade. A duet? Am I a bit of a musician to be able to get all that from reading sheet music? I'm trying to look at these graffitis here. Hey, isn't that the Inquisition symbol? It's an eyeball. Just like how the Inquisition headquarters used to be some elven, elven, ancient elven thing. But maybe we are a little chilling a little bit too much here. We should get back. Change the core. There's a change the core. Oh, uh, there's still a few roads we haven't. Like, what? Where, where do any of those roads go? I feel like we'll probably come back here, though. This'll be like, because we have to use the alluvians to go here and there. Well, let me just. Oh, I'm... there's no stairs here. I gotta go this way. Oh, I gotta go a little bit further out. I see, I see. Right, if you look at the little thing on the map, it does seem to imply that we can come here later. Later, but not now. Later, but not now. Varric, are you alright? If so... I guess we're gonna try to go. Going back to the ritual site, I mean, either way, we were going to take the Alluvian, so investigating versus going in straight away, pretty much the same, at least in its initial step. I'm assuming we can come back. For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that Alluvian. <clears throat> Gonna be all right? If it even takes us back to Arlefin. Nev, you sure you're up for this? Don't worry about me. Shall we? Let's do this. Leaving Varric here? Ok, 
Okay, we're back. It's quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right, let's take a look around and see if we can find it. Oh no. Speaking way too soon. Enchanted armor. Oh, let's help! Let's help! Shut it down! I'm trying! It's not working! I can't contain it! Let's help! Oh! Good job! Elves? Strife? Eelin? What oh. are you doing back in Arlathan? Long story. Veil jumpers! Isn't it always with you? And did I hear you're going by Rook now? Nev, this is Strife and Eelin. They're veil jumpers like me. Experts in elven magic. I worked with them before Harding and Varric recruited me. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. Bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This oh. is because of Finn Harrell's, sorry, Solus's ritual, isn't it? Thought you were supposed to stop him. Or did unforeseen complications lead to unforeseen consequences again? This was the guy that was mad at us. Yeah, we read the codex earlier. He was mad at us for abandoning the treasure, I guess. Oh, will you let it go? Yes, the map was destroyed, but everyone walked out of there alive. I told you to wait. If I'd waited for you to make a copy, people would have died. So you ran off on your own, and now we've lost the only way of navigating back to that site. We lost the work put into it, everything we uncovered, and everything we hadn't. <sighs> but people are alive. So this is ritual. You stopped it? Sky's not ripping itself apart anymore, is it? All right. You stopped Solus. So why is Arlet the neck deep in wild magic? Solus was dragged into the Fade when we interrupted his ritual. But something else got out. Someone else, supposedly. Elganan and Gilanane. Mithalanast. Two of the elven gods of old. The Evanuris. Shit. If they're back in the world, that explains a lot. We worked with the Veil Jumpers, but the, the majority of them are probably elves, so they have a much better knowledge and understanding of what the gods really mean. Anything you can tell us about these gods? Solus might be a bastard, but compared to the Avenuris, let's just say they weren't known for being kind rulers. There's a reason Solus led a rebellion against the Avenuris, and a reason he imprisoned them. Of all the ancient things to unearth, of course it had to be two of the Avenuris, and of course it had to be you that unearthed them. <laughs> Can we not argue? Bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of veil jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Bellara Lute. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifacts it's setting off, it'll be her. Right, you get your friend back to your camp and... Uh, <laughs> we'll find Ballara. You... Oh, goodness. Nev, you're injured. Stay here with the Veil Jumpers. It's a headache. I'll be fine. I know you want to help, but we don't know what we'll face out there and you're in no condition to fight. All right. Just watch your backs. We'll meet you back at the Veil Jumper camp. It's just south of here. 
Bellara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you. Should we not look at the ritual site first, though, before looking for other people? How far away is Arlathan from Munrathus? Pretty dang far, right? So they don't even know what happened over there. Except if they look in the sky, they might get a good idea. Never been to this part of Arlathan before. This fog's strange. It all feels a little off. Like everything shifted a little bit. An entropy's grasp. The Lighthouse Alluvian is currently locked on Arlathan Forest. Oh, currently, but it can move. The Veil vale Jumpers, an elven group, may be able to help it reach other locations. So we have to find her first. Bellara, a Dalish elf. Oh, I just wanted to see the map there. Okay. Just me and you, Harding. Hopefully, no hard feelings, alright? I disagreed with you twice so far, but it's... It was meant to... Uh, disagreements make the team better as a whole. It wasn't... On purpose. Oh! You gonna wake up? Is that suit of armor... moving? Woo! Sometimes they hit quite far. That's a win, Rook. Oh, she's right here. Gotcha. Oh, people. Where'd you come from? Ballora? Ballora Luter. Strife and Eelin sent us to find you. That was fast. Wait! Didn't you used to be a Veil Jumper? You left with Varric. What was your name? Rook. At least, that's the nickname Varric gave me. Lace Harding. Protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me. I've only been gone three days. Well, the situation's changed. For the worse, unfortunately. The elven gods, Elganan and Gilanane, have escaped Fen'Harel's prison. And it seems like they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is very much for the worse. Okay, wait. I need a second. One. It's a lot to take in. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what? The surge of raw magic in the area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago, but in fits and starts. One here, a couple there. Then, a couple of days ago, the sky split open. And now, raw magic. Thick as fog. Only a god, or gods, could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it. And dangerous, really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was going to head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but... But what? See that shimmer? That's a Veil Bubble. It's separating mm. us from the rest of the real world, so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Oh. Once you're in, you can't get out. I wish we knew that before coming in. Strife and Eelin said you're their best Veil Jumper. Hope that means you've got an idea. I'm one too. Maybe a bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it safely, I mean, the bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I really, really hope so. Well then, let's get going. I like to think I was probably an okay veil jumper as well. Maybe I could have done this too. Okay, we found you surprisingly fast though. That was uh, faster than I thought. I just wanted to take a look at your all your skills. Haven't really tried doing it for my companions yet. So for my companions, I have to open this menu to activate their skills then. Look at it when we're in battle. 
I've been trying to get to the artifact at the center of the bubble, but these magical constructs keep getting in the way. We've handled our share of demons. A few dozen more shouldn't be a problem. Spirits, not demons. They're animating those suits of armor. The armor's attuned to the artifact to protect it from threats. Threats like us, I'm guessing. Spirits, not demons, she says. Valuables can be sold to vendors. They can also increase the strength of your allies. Let's hope so. Oh, there's a bit of a offshoot over there. Thank you very much. We're just being mindful of the little offshoots if we can. Temple. We have to deactivate the artifact. Anything down... Oh, oh, Nugs! Nugs! Wild Nugs! That's a, that's a new one. That does not look like a waterfall. What's going on there? What's going on here? Is that water just swirling into the air? I've never seen that kind of magical anomaly here before. We call it the Whirlpool. They're not usually this big, though. Not harmful? Oh, the waterfall's not even touching the water. It's just going back up. That's... bizarre. And then there's just bits of magic floating around here. <gasps> Truffles. Okay, okay. Oh, is this a dead end? Now this leads back to this way. Alright, got you. There's gotta be something over here, right? No! No? Well... Okay. Not here either, apparently. Oh! Oh no, we already got that. Huh. Really? Just nothing? On that little platform? Okay. Demons! Right where we need to go. Okay, let's see here then. Soothing potion, healing, we don't need it. Adrenaline rush enhances damage. Sure. Replenish, healing. Fade bolts. Da! We should probably do it sooner rather than later because they all have cooldowns. So the faster we activate it. The faster we with them quick. kill people. Companion abilities. I just did it. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be annoying. Oh. I wanted to block it. That's a that's a big miss. Good to go. Your abilities? So this system is definitely Okay, oh, okay. Oh, there's control 1 2 3 4 5 6. I see. This system is definitely more action oriented and more reminiscent of Mass Effect, I think, compared to the more tactical approach we had in the previous entries. Definitely a contentious. That's root for you. I like all kinds of games, so I'm not immediately writing it all off. End. Got a skill point. We need to get out of here so that we can access the stuff outside, right? Bated breath. Your bow can now be charged up an additional level. Ability. Reign of Decay. Necrotic damage. Damage is inflicted each second to all enemies caught in the area of this attack. Sure. Haven't even really tried the other stuff yet, I feel like. Oh, Exploding Arrow, that's right. Oh, we can refund it. So we can switch whenever we want. Cool. Let's try it out. Elven Temple. So 
what is this artifact we're looking for exactly? I have a couple of theories, but nothing definite. We might find some clues in the ruins, though. We don't even know what we're looking for, then? I hope it'll make itself obvious, then. More wolf statues. Nice to find ruins that haven't been picked clean. Most people are too afraid to go this deep into Arlathan, except as veil jumpers. With how wild the magic's been here, I don't blame them. Most people just want to live a normal, happy life and not worry about elven gods destroying the universe. Wow. Whoa. I've never seen anything like this. Wait, is this? No, it can't be. Not here. Can't what? Be we have to get over there. The artifact we're looking for must be inside. Definitely what more weird magic. Place? Whoa. Could have been a temple, could have been where they stored food. But judging by the sentinels, it's probably something important. Lots of... Yeah, there's just lots of wild magic going everywhere. Oh, God. Oh! Wait, did I just run into it and it died because of that? I hope not. Okay, we can break these little crates and stuff. Good to know. What about these ones? Yup. Seems peaceful for now. But things like this could change very, very quickly. Ruins approach. Are we just supposed to jump across? Oh, no, we can make a bridge. There should be a power crystal somewhere nearby. Like an ancient elven bridge? Got it. Bring it over here and slot it in. Ancient elven technology often runs on power crystals that can be transported between locations. Yeah, we know about this already, being a veil jumper. Easy. Huh. That's a great trick. A resonance amplifier. It's drawing magic from the ring temple to this area. I need to shut it down before we can go up the path. But should we doing just break that it? We'll attract anything nasty that's hanging around. We're ready. Okay, so it's like a rift, right? Let me just check out this control. Okay, one, two, three, four. I see, I see. Uh, you can touch it. Attack warning. Dodge. An indicator around your head will flash when there is an incoming melee attack. Dodge or defend to avoid taking damage. Mm -hmm. Weakened. We can if we're finding that it's too fast paced. We can definitely do tab. So we can look at stuff easier. Wait. So fade bolts. There you go. Oh, she, is it dead already? My god. Valara. Nice. Oh, someone's gonna get me. It's hard to aim. Come down here, everyone. Just one guy with the acid rain. That's okay. We all start somewhere. How's everyone's health looking? Is the healing just for me or for them too? I don't see where their health bars are. That's the last of the magic energy. Pat should be clear ahead. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I don't see where their health is actually. Here? Do they have health? Or is the healing just for me? Definitely taking some time to get used to everything they're showing me here. I can already tell this is going to be divisive. 
among Dragon Age fans, especially the ones who'd like to see more tactical gameplay. Oh! Someone very politely waiting for us there. Keep waiting! Keep waiting! Bye! I I'm going here. <laughs> oh, hey! Did you look at that? So, that ritual, the big one where the sky was ripping apart, you say that was Fen Harel? I mean, the real Fen Harel? Unfortunately. I've been told, but right now he goes by Solus. And, sorry, the things that got out, the big scary ones, that was Gilnane and Elgernon? Are you okay? You sound a little flustered. Oh, you know, just finding out that three of my gods are out there trying to end the world. Why wouldn't I be okay? What is Solus a well-known thing? For the past 10 years, Varric has been trying to chase Solus, but does everyone know that? If everyone did, it might be easier to try to get him in all but them. Yum. They're dealing with knowing that, oh, yes, number one, their gods are real, and then number two, they are out to get us. So I don't blame her, it's a lot to take in. Hi. Hi. Oh! Damn! Another sentinel construct. Just we'll bounce right off. Down. Be careful! Armor protects enemies. Okay. Easy enough. But watch out. Whenever you see one, there's more nearby. The shift attack is how we break through. Seeing these kinds of ruins never gets old. Can anything here tell us what that artifact is? I have a theory, but we're miles away from where that artifact should be. Speaking pretty vaguely here, my girl. If you had some details, maybe it would help us with everything. Osolos mentioned earlier he's missing his ritual dagger, which is why he can't use the... Lighthouse? Storm Needle. Items. How do I see my inventory? They haven't taught me yet. Crafted by Veil Jumper Smiths. Aye, here we go. Inventory. We have a rusty sword, serviceable rapier, battered bow. If I click on this, I can switch it out. This is better. This is better, in every way. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, more dudes. Let's just get them right- Oh, there's so many! Holy crap! Hi. We can start now. These constructs! It means I was right! Right about what? About where we are. It's an armory. And I think I know oh, what the artifact is. That's why there's so much armor here. I thought they were all gonna wake up at once, but they were being a little nice to me. I see the indicator on top of my head. Oh, I think the healing is for me, right? Oh, I can only do one ability. I can't spam them all at once. Oh, I tried to defend, but it didn't- I want to defend. Right! Thank you. We're all right. So many of these sets of armors here because it's an armory. That would make sense, but that's... If they all came to life, that would be a problem. 
So what kind of artifact shows up in an armory? A weapon? An archive spirit. A what? A creature of the Fade, bound to a crystal. Ancient elves use them to store knowledge and to help them dream. Archive spirit. Don't think we've ever heard of that before. It sounds kind of like... Like a chatbot kind of thing. I imagine the ancient elves were talking to them and then they would talk back and all that. Except it's not, it's not just a computer, it's a creature from the Fade. A spirit. Oh no. Mythalinast. Darkspawn. Oh! Oh, these look pretty different now. Darkspawn. Wait, do we still have to worry about like the whole blight stuff? Nice rook. Still dark spawn everywhere here. Dark spawn. Here. I never would have believed it. Until today. Yeah, because it was only supposed to be normally dark spawn are underground if it's not during times of blight. But then when it is Blight, then they come up and stuff. But now because we released the Elven Gods, they are just walking around everywhere now. That's not good. Another one of those resonance amplifiers. Get ready. Once I shut it down, the path ahead will remain blocked until the magic dissipates. We've got your back. Let's go. Hmm. Valora? Sure thing. I'm ready, I think. Wait, wait, let me get this money first. Here we go. Like people like Varric look very fairly similar, but these guys clearly have had a whole complete redesign, huh? They got these bulgy, veiny looking things now. Or maybe I just don't remember too well how they look before. I've never seen Dark Spawn this deep into Arlathan Forest before. As far as I know, it's never happened. If the gods are blighted, like Solas claims, maybe they're communicating with the Dark Spawn somehow. Directing them? You saw those Dark Spawn though? Something was different about them. They and seem we'll weird. Them. Once we get out of this bubble. Right. Let's get to that central temple. Right, it's not normal that they're like that. The red eyes and all. Flawless crystal, thank you very much. Do we know how far away we are from the temple? Oh, do these explode? Just decorations? Oh, the air here is a little bit funny. Look at how rainbow gradient it is. The magic of the elven forests and a hint for you to go over there. Which we did already. Hmm. Catapulty stuff going on. Oh, definitely looks like some sort of um enemy place. Aim the ballista and fire an explosive bolt. Taking damage will knock you off from the ballista. Yes. Oh! Dark spot, right where you broke that wall. Maybe I shouldn't have broken it then, huh? <laughs> it's okay. Good thing somebody left this for us. Well, the damage might be a little bit too <laughs> insane. Beating them in this submission. No friendly fire, nothing like that. I don't gotta worry. 
Oh. Oh, oh goodness. Sorry, sorry. We're good? That's probably a sign that we're going to the right place. The further we go, the more dark spawn there are. Although I don't know if we will like what we find at the end. Did the dark spawn have something to do with that archival spirit then? Oh, what? Wait, what? Arlethan Forest is like this too. It's like all floating and not like a regular forest. Odd times around here. Abandoned camp. But there was camp here, once upon a time. And another resonance amplifier. Should be the last one, I hope. Me too. Eh? I mean, they won't let me in, of course. Oh, hi, hi! <laughs> can we just start hitting them right now? Of course we can't. Okay. I can't get the hang of this. Wait, my... It just automatically snapped. There's some aim assist going on, I think. I am getting the sense that this was built for a console. Like, the, some of the controls don't really feel quite natural PC-like. No, I gotta use the... Yeah, the other attack to get rid of the armor. Yeah, like, just some of the way the camera moves around, some of the movements. The last barrier's down. We're close. I can feel it. And the ability wheels and all, too. Which, um... Well, Dragon Age Origins was definitely PC-focused with all the, um, the tactics and all that. And the abilities and stuff, so it's a bit of a departure for sure. But generally, generally people probably prefer playing on, um, controller. Oh? Huh. Okay, let's go. Have you noticed something about the blight? Where it is, I mean? It's almost like it's feeding off the elven magic. Blight plus elven gods. Wonderful. Oh, once we get a chance, I definitely want to look into the, um, the codex again to review the whole... the... the myths of the, the Chantry and all that, because that all that stuff is definitely a little bit hazy in my mind now. Hold on, okay, that way is a dead end. Let me check that side first. Can we go up there? Oh no! Oops. Okay, now we know what happens if we fall. Hopefully nothing. Did I lose health for that? Maybe not. But it feels like there's something up there that I sh am supposed to be able to get. Maybe I gotta jump down from above? Or uh... Can I like hit that thing? I don't know what that pillar is. Here we go. A cracked scroll. The stench of decay fills the air. The Evaners now wield power beyond anything I've seen. Their magic is fueled by corruption and death, and creeps even now into the stones. We cannot outlast the siege. It's from when the elven gods were enslaving the elves. Oh, here we go. I was on the right track. Wrong method. Maybe this is for crafting armor later, which I'm not sure how much we're gonna get into, judging by uh, my track record with it, with Inquisition. That is to say, I basically did none of it. <laughs> Even this, uh... What is this stuff here? It's like bulging and breathing almost. It kind of looks like the Darkspawn stuff. Building's 
means what I think it is, then the alignment means we're here. This is it. This is where it was kept. Where what was kept? The this archive artifact? spirit, or as the ancient elves called it, the Nodis Durthalin. It means the inevitability of knowledge. What does that mean? I don't know, actually. The notes were never very clear on that, but I plan to find out. I like how it sounds, though. Knowledge being inevitable. It's probably a good thing. More constructs ahead. The inner sanctum. We're getting closer. Ooh. Oh, this is a bigger boss, dude. Ish. Some enemies have special combat advantage. This one is frenzy, which means additional attack speed and damage. Use the ability wheel to see what enchantments named enemies have. Oh, where does it say that? Fr oh, vulnerable, resistant to ice, I guess that is. Somebody heal me. I gotta block better. <laughs> There's another dude over there too, like there's a... That mage looking dude behind me. Are you guys getting the rest of them? Barriers protect enemies from the damage. Deplete them quickly, or they'll regenerate over time. I wish you were telling me during less frantic moments. Oh, goodness. Woo! I favor dodge right now, but maybe I should be defending a bit more. Yeah, I'm definitely doing a bit of spamming work right now. <laughs> Gotta work on that combat there. And the stuff that I unlocked, I feel like I'm not really doing too much of it properly. Looks like this door is going to need a second power crystal. Then let's go find one. Veil's Edge, common short bow. Better than my battered bow, probably. Yeah, better on every front. A nimble bow employed by the Veil Jumpers. It's just that it's um, it's not because my class is Veil Jumpers that we're finding this. It's just that we're in Arlethan Forest right now, I think. Second power crystal? Oh, it's probably inside here. But we have to get this one first. Hmm? Where's the second one? Hurry up and pass it over. Oh, whoa. This would have been good to have earlier, huh? Oh. Another ballista. I bet we could use it to break through that wall. This wall? We just... Ex know exactly which wall to break. <laughs> we good? And then I'm guessing we... Let me bring this back over here, because we probably don't need to... have it over there anymore. Alright. Here we go. Oh, you can actually see it from beyond the little cracks. I just didn't see. Yeah, this place isn't looking great. We did it. All that's left is the Nautis Durthalin. I have so many questions for it. How do you ask it questions? It's an archive spirit. You'll see. Yeah, we can talk to it, right? But are you get? Uh, I, I don't even know what kind of questions we should ask. Hey, how do you stop an elven god? <laughs> Is it gonna know how to answer that? Proving steel, common broadsword. Uh, this is better than what I have. Proudly forged in Orzammar. Very far removed from where we are now, Orzammar being underground. Yeah, 
Thank you very much. Oh. Mm, I don't get a good feeling about this. Sort of looks like a boss arena. Okay. Here it is. The Nodis Dirthalen. So we take it and we're good, right? We can head back? Oh, I wish. No, it, it, it's a lot trickier than that. Right. Because darkspawn, demons, and animated suits of armor aren't tricky enough. What's the problem? What do you mean by tricky, exactly? If I remove the artifact the way I'd usually do it, it'll explode and take out half of Arlathan with it. Oh. The good news is, I think I can shunt the energy somewhere else. Okay, here we go. Well, then how do you usually not... How did you not explode Arlathan already? If you were doing that before. <laughs> the way the magic is pulsing... I've never seen this before. I'm curious about Bellara's gloves. It's like it's... breathing. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Ogre! That's an ogre! More dark spawn. Dark spawn ogre. So we have to rely on this menu a little bit more if we wanna, you know, chill and think a little bit. Unblockable attack is flashing red. Dodging is your only option in those cases. So the combat is a lot more like, um... Singular protagonist oriented, like God of War. Oh no, I got hit, so I lost momentum. That sucks. Because the rogue's abilities depend a lot on getting hits in in a row. <laughs> which is going to be a problem for me. Parry is nice. And then I can use you... Spam a whole bunch of different status effects on it. Can we see it here? Vulnerable, resistant, or a fire vulnerable, poison resistant. Ultimate ability, forward use it. Build your ultimate meter by damaging enemies. Once full, use it. I wasn't expecting to fight an ogre today. Then again, I also didn't expect to learn that my gods are rampaging around and trying to end the world. Just one of those days. Maybe not the best, but it could be worse. Okay. Let's see. Okay, okay. There we go. Ooh. No, no, no. That's good. I think. Oh. Uh, what does that crystal do? Keeps the artifact powered. Focuses the ambient magical energy. That's why these things still work thousands of years later. Oh. No, you don't. <laughs> Oh! Okay! Good job! Sulanan, Vir Sulevanan, and Asal Dirthara. Well then. I am the Nadas Dirthalan. Right. 
Um, I have questions. I am the Nadas to Oh no. What do you? Oh no! It's broken. Where'd the spirit go? The Nardis Dothalan, I mean. It went back into the crystal, but the crystal's broken. Until I fix it. You know how? It's kind of my thing, fixing magical stuff. Can you fix it now, though? Or is it a couple of weeks operation? Strife and Irulan will want to know about this. And the Blight, and the Darkspawn. Let me know when you're ready to head to the Veil Jumper camp. Yeah, I guess we'll just bring it back with us. But hey, we got Ballara, and that's what we came here for. So that's good. We seem to be pretty readily getting skill points. That's good. Oh, Ballara gets skill points too. Interesting. She also has inventory. Illuvian Expert. Relationship. Each rank grants two skill points. Oh, okay. But what do you mean by relationship, though? Do you mean, oh, just completing content, spending time with them? Not necessarily if they hate me or love me. Because you know the problem I had back with, like, uh, say, Dragon Age 2 was that because my stances on certain topics were different from certain companions, they just hated me forever. <laughs> but, um, seems like it's just spending time, according to the description here. Ability Enfeebling Shot. Fire is a magic infused shot from her bow. Time slow. Time slow is nice. Oh, she already has it. Seize the moment. Deal more damage while time is slowed. Sure. Wait, when it says you, it means everyone in the party. Yeah? When effect ends, gain 15 momentum. Okay. Alright. And yeah, you could see. You can refund the points at any point, it seems. Mm -hmm, which means you are free to try out new things whenever. Pretty much encouraged to do it. Wow, I have more points with Ballara than Harding? Associate. 1. Minrath's Contact. Wait, is that like their profession or is that my relationship with them? Because this, this one sounds like a profession, but then Associate I thought would be like our relationship. Sure, I got a skill point as well. Maybe I'll fan out a little bit over here. Damage versus barriers, plus 20. Arrows gain after defeating an enemy. No, I'll do this one. I think we're pretty much ready to go back, unless if there's more here. Whole place is barriered up. I don't think we're even allowed to leave. The normal way. Will we come back later? Who knows? Ready to go? Right. Let's get moving. Come on. I'll show you the way to the Veil Jumper camp. <laughs> 